Saktring here. Today I'm going to show you how to sketch parabola using CAS calculator. Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to sketch parabola using Casio Classpad. Go to your graph page and next to y1 let's write x squared plus 3x minus 10. To sketch this you have to tick the checkbox and click onto the parabola looking icon and it will sketch it for you. As you can see that you can't really see the turning point or wind set, so let's click onto this icon to change our window setting. Let's change x minimum to negative 15, x maximum to 15, y minimum to negative 15 and y maximum to 15. And if you click OK, they'll adjust the setting for you. Let's find the turning point of this parabola. As you can see, your turning point is on the very bottom, which is minimum value. So let's go to Analysis, G Solve, and click onto Minimum. And ta-da! Here's your turning point. And let's find our Y intercept now. All you have to do is go to Analysis and click onto Trace. And it'll go straight into the point when X is 0, which is your Y intercept. So 0, negative 10 is your Y intercept here. When you click onto Trace, if your point is not on the Y intercept, all you have to do is just type 0 and the value will pop out. And all you have to do is click OK and it'll move to the point when X is 0. And now let's find our X intercepts. Go to Analysis, G Solve and click onto Root. And it'll show you your left X intercept which is negative 5. And if you want to find the X intercept that's on the right side, just click right arrow and it'll move to the right x-intercept, which is 2. And now, let's try to find the y-value when x is 1. So all you have to do is go to Analysis and Trace, type 1, and this enter value will pop out again, and click OK, and it'll move to the point where, where x is 1. So as you can see, 1, negative 6, so y-value is negative 6. How about the y value when x is 3? Same process, go to analysis, trace, and type 3, click enter, and it'll move to the point where x is 3. So 3, 8 is the point where x is 3. And now let's try to find the x values when y equals 10. This can't be found using trace function, so all you have to do is add another graph. So right next to y2, type 10. So you'll sketch your graph when y equals 10. Make sure you click on the checkbox and click onto the parabola looking and it'll sketch the horizontal line for you. And all you have to do is find the intersection between the parabola and the horizontal line. So go to analysis, G solve, then click onto intersection and it'll show you the left intersection first. So when x is negative 6.217, your y value is 10. And again, if you want to find the right intersection, so simply click onto the right arrow and it'll give you the right intersection. So when x is 3.217, your y value is 10 as well. Thank you so much for watching our quadratic videos today. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel for more math tips and materials. Study smarter, not harder with SAC.